everybody, it's Becky. Welcome back to my channel. I have a really fun video for you guys today and I am gonna be sharing with you guys some nail polish that I got from Julep in a recent haul that I did from them. But I also thought it'd be really fun to share with you guys kind of how I do my own nails at home. I have never had a manicure or a pedicure and I always do my own nails at home. And a lot of you guys have commented and said, oh, your nails look so nice. Are they jail nails or do you get them done somewhere? And I never have. I always just do them here at home on my own. So I have a couple products that I really love and I swear by. And I also think having a really good nail polish does definitely make a difference in how long your nail polish is going to last. So I have a couple favorite brands. Um, Zoya and Julep are my two favorite nail polish brands. I feel like they are the best quality and they also are better for you than some of the other ones you can pick up at the drugstore. They don't have a lot of the nasty chemicals that are in some of those other nail polishes. So when it comes to painting my nails and definitely with the girls, my daughters, I only let them use Julep or Zoya. I know there's other polishes out there that are also a better option, but I've never tried those. But I do love Zoya and Julep. Zoya definitely has, I think, more colors, but I feel like Julep has some really unique colors. So. I picked up five nail polishes. They had a sale recently. All the nail polishes were 50% off. Of course, a couple days after I bought them, they went 60% off, but whatever. I got a couple pretty ones. This one I'm probably not gonna keep. I'm probably gonna give this to my youngest daughter because her birthday's in January, and this is one of their birthstone nail polishes, which like I said, they have some really fun, unique polishes, and they have some that are based around birthdays, so it's a really good gift idea if you have a daughter or a friend or a neighbor or a sister that um, you want to get them a nail polish that corresponds with their birth month or their birth stone. They do have some really fun ones. This one is called Gina and it is rose quartz and it is for a January birthday. So it's a really pretty baby pink with lots of sparkle and kind of silver, very fine like silver micro glitter. So that one's really pretty. So that will probably go to my youngest daughter. This one is another birth stone one. This one is Scorpio. So it's a really deep purple with um, some silver micro glitter, if you can see that. And then I also got Connection, which is somewhat similar, but it's a little bit more of a red-based purple. Again, really sparkly and does have some silver glitter, micro glitter. It's not like the chunky glitter. It just really gives you a nice shimmer on your nails. So I got that one. And then these two are definitely definitely spring and summer colors. I got Kemper, which is a really pretty violety purple, which I'm really excited to use that. I'll probably use that this weekend. And then I also got um, Rayleigh, which is kind of a iridescent pink. You can see, but it's got like a blue undertone. So that one's really pretty as well. So those are the polishes that I picked up from Zoya on this most recent haul. I love their nail polish. And now I'm gonna take you and show you kind of the base coat that I use and the top coat that I use that I feel like that work the best for me as far as prolonging my uh, nail polish as long as possible. Because you know, I don't have time to repaint them multiple times a week. I barely have time to paint them once a week and that's really all I do. Usually on Saturday night, I will sit down and paint them while my husband and I watch a movie. So I want my nail polish to last and I really like the way my nails look when they're painted. I don't have the smallest hands. So I feel like when they're painted, they look more feminine and more put together. So I definitely like having them polished, but I don't want to have to keep doing it and like touching them up and being a slave to my nail polish. So, so now I'm going to take you with me to the kitchen and I'm going to do my nails and let you see kind of what I use to prime my nails to like get them ready. And then what base, what top coat I use to give them extra shine and make them last longer. Okay, so here I am at my kitchen island. I have a few products that I love and swear by. The first thing is the Nail Teaks Formula 2. It's really good for flaky nails. Then I use the Orly Bonder to make the polish last longer and then the Orly Polished at the end to seal everything in. But before I do anything, I put the Nail Teaks Formula 2 on. I do have really weak kind of peeling nails just naturally and it's not you know perfect, but I definitely think it makes a difference when I use it and when I don't use it. So I do use it every single week before I paint my nails. Once it dries, I go ahead and put on the Orly Bonder uh, underneath the nail polish. Again, I feel like it really does make a difference with how long your nail polish lasts when I have that underneath.
Now it's time for nail polish. I chose this julep color. It looks black, but it's really a really interesting kind of a gray purple. Uh, I think they have really some interesting colors and I was kind of tired of my summer nail polish and sort of ready for fall and winter colors So I went ahead and chose this color. I think it's really unique and really pretty and it is a really thick formula But I pretty much always do two coats of anything I think most nail polishes could always use two coats and would always look better with two coats so I do two coats of the polish and I try to be careful and not get it on my skin, but I'm not too terribly worried about it because it's really easy to get off with a cotton swab and some um, nail polish remover. It's a lot easier to get nail polish off of your finger than it is to try to fix a nail that you messed up by being a little bit too careful, if that makes sense. So I'm not the best nail polisher in the world. You know, I'm definitely not going to be a manicurist anytime soon, but I feel like they usually look nice, they turn out well, and um, you know, I've been doing it for years. I used to have long nails, and well, it's been a while now that I've had long, since I've had long nails, but I used to have long nails, especially when I was younger. And over the years, I've just learned it's so much easier for me to maintain them when they're shorter. I feel like they're cleaner when they're short, you know, instead of having long nails when I'm trying to cook and things getting under your fingernails and all that stuff. I think it's just easier to maintain and um, cleaner to keep them short, so that is what I do now. After I have the two coats of polish and it's thoroughly dried, I go ahead and put the Orly Polished on top. Again, it's an extra layer that I think does make a difference. It makes them extra shiny and I feel like it does protect the polish and make it last longer. So that's pretty much what I do on a weekly basis. I feel like my nails look better when they're painted. I feel more pulled together when they're painted. And it's something I typically do on Saturday night while we're watching a movie. I just get all my stuff and paint my nails and it's just kind of a a part of my weekly routine that I thought I would share with you guys so I hope you enjoyed it I'll have all the products that I showed linked for you guys in the description box and I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one bye